The Smart E behaviors in IRCAD have been easier to create now that we've added a new dialog for creating attachment points. For example, on our base part here, we're going to build some intelligence to our part with attachment points. First, we'll go ahead and just create an attachment point in the middle of our part. And now we want to set a name to this part. Before we just set a name to it, let's get some information about this part. It's actually a, a parametric part. If we go to parameters, it has some variables inside of here. One is the uh, outer diameter and the other one is the wall thickness. We've also built some design variations just to set these for various sizes, a, a 2 inch, 3 inch, and 4 inch, which also varies the thickness of the walls. What we want to build is our second part, our dropping part. We want it to change based on what it drops on. So we're first we're going to create an attachment point, and now we're going to set its name. Previously, you just had to type the whole entire string in order to, to build your intelligence. Now we've built a new dialog that will help you build your intelligence. For example, let's we'll just call this our test is for our name, and we can define what type of attachment we would like to use. For example, we'll just use a neutral in this case because there's a male and female doesn't matter in this case. You can also use the dialog to build your parameters, constraints, and catalog items. We'll talk about catalog items in another video, but let's go ahead and just do some of these other ones. For example, we can do a variable inside of here that we know on our dropping part it has a variable called size, which is the outer size of our part. And we want to set it equal to our outer diameter of our current part, which it automatically pulls all the parameters that are available in this part. And we're going to select that and it'll put it into our value. We also want to do some math inside of here that we want it to be the outer diameter minus half the thickness. So we can say half the wall thickness or again you can just select the variable and say divided by 2 inside of here. And you can do various things. You can have it set it as an expression meaning that it will automatically change uh, the value if it's auto modified on the main part. So we'll go ahead and select that because we may change the design variation to show this. And we'll say add. We also want to set the wall thickness of our dropping part, so we can just go ahead and type in the wall thickness. And again, just select wall thickness here to set it as equal, and we'll set that. So now we have these two variables set. If we also want to build some additional constraints, for example, maybe we want it to be coincident and maybe coaxial on the z-axis, you can see that the string is automatically being populated for us. So before you had to type all this information in, which make it made it very difficult to do and edit and understand. But now you have a nice UI to make it a lot easier to build this and edit it. It'll also, if you manually go up here and type some values, it'll warn you if some things are wrong or incorrect in your string, which is nice. So it'll highlight it red and tell you that it's incorrect and you can leave it or not. For example, if we put a pound here, notice it notices it's wrong, telling us that the string is incorrect, and if we hit OK, it'll get us another error dialog. So let's just go ahead and remove that and say OK. So now that we built our string, we can build our attachment point on our other part as well. We'll just put it in the center. Again, set the name. In this case, we just need to call it test, and we can just call it a neutral type, and just leave it as that. So now if we go ahead and create a new catalog just to put this part into it, we can now drop it out here onto our object, and notice it'll automatically connect in size based on that object. Notice it's basically half that wall thickness. So if this is a 2 and the wall thickness is 0.25, that's half of that thickness uh, minus the outer diameter. If we change our design variation, notice if we change it to 3, everything on this part will update and maintain. And notice it also created our constraints as well. If we look inside of here, we have our locked constraints for our concentric and coincident. So a very handy tool here that you can change these and drive these automatically on your part. Or we could have also just created multiple of these parts. Let's just copy a couple of them here. Copy, just make two. And now if we have our two parts, we can change our design variations on these guys to something else. And this one to four. Let's just move them out a little bit. You can see this a little bit more. Uh, clear in this case. So let's get into that. So you can see that this will automatically change based on what is dropped onto. It reads those values and automatically changes the size for you. So a very handy way to do this uh, in eBehavior on your parts, but just basically the dialog is now a very improved to help you create this information uh, automatically for you.